Hey guys, Benji here. Welcome back to my channel, Bites as Benji, where today we're going to be looking at the Xbox Series X console. Now, before we do that, just like to say thank you to everyone who supported me over the last year or so on my channel. I know it's been pretty quiet recently, uh, but I've managed to get some time available. Thank you mainly to a second lockdown in the country where I live. And hopefully I'll be able to get some more content out for you. And it kind of nicely coincided with the Xbox Series X launch and obviously PlayStation 5 next week. But today we're gonna to be looking at the Xbox Series X. Now, before I carry on, like I said before, thank you all for your support. If you're new here, please like and subscribe. That'd be great, help me out on my channel and hopefully push for that 100 subscribers. So thank you guys for watching and supporting. Let's carry on. So a little backstory about how I got my Series X. So I wanted to do a full unboxing, like open it on launch day and just show you guys me reacting to open it for the first time. Unfortunately, my delivery was a little bit late. Yeah, it didn't arrive until I think it was about half past nine at night, nine o'clock, something like that. So it was a very frustrating day waiting for it because I wanted to do a load of unboxing videos and everything, but um, I knew that I'll probably have to set up the console, do a load of updates, obviously download some games, which is going to take time. So obviously I've already opened the box um, and downloaded a few games onto it uh, overnight, just so there's something to play for today. So, But what I thought I'd still show you is the console itself up against the other older Xboxes. Obviously, I'll show you the, the actual retail box as well. You've probably seen it all on other channels and so on and so forth, but I thought I'll give you my thoughts on it anyway. But let's crack on with the video. So, I actually really like the box. I think it's really cool. It's very impactful. Nice green with the grill. I really think that's cool. Uh, obviously, Xbox on the side. Obviously, all the information on here. So, you've got, you know, 4K gaming, one terabyte, 4K Blu-ray player all that stuff you probably already know anyway but that's just all and all the contents inside the box as well and this is the bit that makes me sad because we all know halo infinite should be with this bad boy obviously it got delayed until next year i personally think it will be delayed i reckon late next year i think holiday next year in my honest opinion um even maybe 2022 I really do. Um, I think there's some major work going on behind the scenes that we don't know about. I think they will release it separately as well, single player, multiplayer. But anyway, that's for another video. Uh, but yeah, but I still think it looks smart anyway. How are your dreams? Certainly is a dream. And then obviously all of the... Look at that massive small print on there. On the bottom there. But anyway, let's have a look. So, it's actually empty inside. But I thought I'd just show you anyway. That's what it looked like. It was very neatly compacted into there. Um, oh, it's got a nice console smell still as well. But anyway, let's go through a little bit of history of Xbox before we get onto the Series X. So, obviously we've got the old Chunky Boy, the original Xbox OG. Obviously this is the, the see-through green one. Um, I do have the black one still lying around somewhere up in my loft. Uh, but this is the one that I... Went to an end. I've still got the <laughs> DVD receiver in there because obviously you needed that to watch DVDs on it. But some great memories on that one. So there's the older OG Xbox. I'm going to pop this on the table so you guys can see it. So there's that one. And then of course we get on to the Xbox 360. Now I do have the 20 gig premium one uh, somewhere upstairs. It doesn't actually work. It's actually faulty. So I had to get the old slim one. So. There's the old slim Xbox. Needs a bit of a clean, doesn't it, really? A little bit dusty. But uh, probably my favourite Xbox console of all time. Absolutely adored the 360. And of course, we get onto the Xbox One S. So again, I do have the OG Xbox One, the one that came with Kinect. Uh, but unfortunately, that one broke <laughs> as well. Um, I know, right? Uh, yeah, so I've only had the, I've only had the One S for about a year, actually. I haven't actually had it that long, um, but yeah, it's been good. It's been, you know, it's worked so far for me. It's going to work great as a second console to have it hooked up to my my computer. So my plan is, is obviously I've got all my retro Xbox 360, OG Xbox games, you know, Sonic and all that sort of stuff on this console, and that's probably what I'll use it for, um, and obviously for the Series X for the newer games, but. There's my good older Xbox One S. And now, obviously we go into a new generation. And here it is, the good old Xbox Series X. 
There it is in all its glory with the green on the top. It is a shame it's not a light. I think a lot of people are disappointed that that wasn't a light. Because obviously when it first got revealed, everyone's like, whoa, it lights up green inside. But obviously it's not got that in there. Very basic look to it. Um, it's a lip. Some people like the minimal design, but I, I like consoles that just they kind of have their own identity, you know? Like, I say that. I mean, no other console looks like this, really, but PC towers do. You know, whereas all the other Xboxes, you know, they have their own specific design, whereas, you know, this is... It is literally just a giant Lego brick. But it does what it needs to do. Play games very well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm actually not a fan, even though I've got two of my consoles up uh, vertical there. I'm not actually a fan of having my consoles vertical, which is this was quite clearly designed to do. Um, but I'm going to be having it horizontal. I always have, always will. Um, but yeah, that is the Series X. And there is uh, the back. You know, all the ports as well. Obviously, it took away the, the HDMI in, which was actually quite handy because I have my 360 actually hooked up. Uh, to my old Xbox One. So, uh, you know, it didn't take up a HDMI space on my TV because I've got so many consoles hooked up to it. But uh, but there it is. There is the Xbox Series X. Really looking forward to getting stuck into it. Like I say, I've literally spent, you know, well, not me personally, but, you know, spent a lot of time overnight downloading all these games, updates, you know, Series X optimized games. So hopefully uh, I'll get some more content out for you on that one. But before I go... Let's have a quick look at the controllers. So I haven't actually got my OG controller with me because it's in a pot, again, in storage. It's going to take a lot of time trying to go through it, trying to find it all. So, but I thought I'd, I've still managed to dig out some of my older controllers. Obviously we've got the 360 controller, got the white one there, got the old black one there. Still my favorite controller, so good. And then obviously we've got the Xbox One, day one edition, 2013. You know, it served me well, but look at the analog stick on that. You know, it's it's literally lost its its cushion on it. It's just completely gone. Um, and then my One S controller, which still got some nice clickiness to it because it's still relatively quite new. It's been there for a minute. And then there's the Series X controller. There it is. Doesn't look that much different, really, does it? To the other one, I think. Obviously, I've only been using it to navigate through menus, really, the controller. And the one thing that did, I noticed, it was quite nice. The triggers feel that tiny bit softer. And they've got this matte finish on the back as well. I don't know if you can see that on there. It's got this like matte finish to the to the controller and actually feels quite nice. I also like the D-pad. It's, it's really clicky. I know the other one's clicky as well. But I've, I've never got on with Xbox D-pads. I think the worst D-pad, probably the OG Xbox One, but the 360 one was pretty shocking as well, you know. But um, but yeah, the Xbox uh, Series X controller, obviously it's got the share button on there in the middle. That's pretty cool. Press it once, take a picture, hold it to take a video. So much easier than navigating through all those menus. Um, disappointing that's not silver, like the Xbox One, but of course it lights up anyway. So maybe that's why it's not silver anymore. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting stuck in. Like I say, hopefully going to show some content on my channel, show some Batcat games, uh, you know, the newer games, once they've all downloaded. Um, also, another thing I noticed when I opened the box is how little there is inside it, inside the, uh, the packaging. Uh, you literally get warranty, how to set up the console, that's literally it. It basically says, download the app. It's so much quicker, and it is. It's really quick. Uh, HDMI cable, which is 2.1. So that's pretty cool. Ultra high, fast HDMI cable. And a plug. And the first time I think I've opened an Xbox, apart from the 1S, there's no power brick bit. There's no other bit to connect the plug to. It's literally just one cable. Hallelujah. <laughs> so that's really cool. But anyway... Enough for me and the Xbox Series X. Like I say, look out uh, for some new content on my channel with some games very soon. And next week, yes, it's PlayStation 5 here in the UK. I'll be unboxing that bad boy. Hopefully, if it arrives in good time, I will open it up in the morning. But anyway, 
Guys, I hope you all stay safe and well. If you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. That's great. Comment down below for any games you want to see me play on my channel. And also, happy gaming. See you in the next video.